Hello everyone. Good evening. Welcome to my channel. That is U two for beginners. Today we are going to discuss one use case in accounting that how to import the partner balance as an opening balance, but without importing invoices and bills. This is a very common requirement when we are going to live with your old accounting software to Odoo. Okay. At the same time, we don't want to import those old invoices and bills, but our main agenda is to import the partner. Customer or vendors balance as a opening balance in our Odoo. Okay, so without wasting the time, let's jump to the database and let's check how we can do that. So here I have created a new company that is the blank, and we we will check the customers and vendors. So for that, I'm just going with the contacts. In the contact itself, I'm just going to use one of my contact here. The Mr. Smith is there. So if I am finding the Smith, so for Smith, here you can see that the balance is. Zero. So we can go to the customer statement, and amount is zero. But now we want to import. So what we have to do? My step number one is we have to create the journal. So I have created that journal with the opening balance and the short code we have applied. Now here main thing is that I am not importing invoice and bills. Then how we can do that? We can just passing one journal entry. So for that I am going to the accounting. In the accounting itself, I am creating one journal entry and just creating a new. Here what I am going to do? opening balance i'm adding the for partner accounting date again i'm going to consider with that first april 2025 okay now that's correct now what we have to do as we are going to work with those customer and vendor in just one entry for customers the receivable will be there and for my vendors payable will be there so i'm just selecting those account receivable my partner here is that smith with the 12000 debit to so let me add the smith yeah this is very important based on this selection we can find that which partner has how much outstanding okay this is the debited with the 12000 okay now one more again with the customer so i am just selecting the receivable i am selecting the receivable with my john and the 8500 so here selecting the john this is important with 8 Five double zero. Now, as customers, as you can add in just one journal entries. Now, I am doing work with my vendors for tax mid. It will be seven five double zero. So here it will be a vendor. So we have to select that payable. So account payable with uh, my tax mid. Okay, and that is the amount of my seven five double zero. So I am going to add that. Seven five double zero. Okay, that's the thing. And now one more with the vendor is my global suppliers. So I'm just going to. This is just we have to credit. Okay, and this is again with the vendor. So I'm selecting the payable with global suppliers with the amount of my four thousand. Okay, so let me add the four thousands. So now here you can see that the difference of my let me just add just difference is the 9000 so where we can park it so for that i'm just going to select that undistributed profit and loss so that amount difference will be parked in this particular account okay so this is thing just we are going to save this and as we are just going to post it now let's check the customer for the mr smith so now if i will open that Customers. Otherwise, we can go with the journal ledger, partner ledger. So, in the partner ledger itself, here you can see that for Smith, your twelve thousand is debited. I can check with the customers also. My customers are John and the John. He is the John Taylor. Okay, so John Taylor eight five thousand eight five double zero. So in that here you can see that the eight five double zero is so this is just one journal entry that you have to pass and based on that your all partners opening balance will be imported without importing the invoice and bills you can try from your sites and let me know if you are stuck somewhere thank you everyone.